welcome to this week's vlog. We're in the car on the way to Westfield because I've got some returns to do. Also, I need B to help me with curtain decision making. It's so hard to do on your own. So with John Lewis, there's like a made to measure service and they come round free of charge and they measure it all up. And he was actually really nice. He was really cute. And um, he was very knowledgeable as well. So that was helpful. And then you just have to pick your fabric and then you order them. And I also thought we could have a look around like West Elm, H&M Home. Okay, so we're back at the curtain department. And for some reason this time I feel a lot clearer. I'm gonna go for this netting um, behind and then in front, I think in the living room, this one here, which is like there, it's actually my favorite and it just so happens to be the cheapest. So I'm also very happy about that. Um, this is their Arlo in the shade. It doesn't say what shade, but um, yeah, it just seems like kind of plain. Um, and then for the bedrooms, I kind of want to have like more of a brown color. So I was looking at this one, which is the same fabric, but in the shade putty. I think it's quite nice. It's also this one, which is in mocha, which is it's more brown. I think I prefer this one. It's nice. This one, which is designer's guild, and these are kind of like satiny almost, which I do think looks quite expensive. Do you be? I do. I, do. I think probably just... more expensive in the in the brown rather than the white. I think white could make. Yeah, no, look... white looks cheap. I think, but I, I'm just thinking about it pulling. Like yeah. If you get a wrinkle on it, the bunnies climb up on it. Yeah. Uh, what is it? So it's cotton and polyester. Forty percent cotton. Um. It's like I think something like this one for the bedrooms could be really nice. I do like it. Go rogue, do you want like an orange maybe? Absolutely not. <laughs> um, I don't know if linen just looks a bit softer. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like cozier. Yeah. <laughs> underneath it. Yeah, I think we've come to a decision on the living room. I so, really like that actually. Yeah, and I, and it won't be like like flat. It will be really um, pleated. So you're so, gonna get more fabric than it needs. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, nice. And then yeah, this one's just easy, isn't it? Yeah. I so really like that. We've decided, but let's hope it's in stock. And then we're still undecided on the bed. Brooms. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think we've got some kind of rough decisions, ideas. I like what, what you just decided. Um, I feel like a bit drained now. Me too. So yeah, we're gonna... Coffee break. Yeah. Okay, we're now heading into West Elm to have a little look. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> I love that lamp. It's huge. I love that. Size reference is absolutely massive. Oh, How... I really like that. That for the little hallway would be so nice, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, on the console table. Yeah. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah, yeah I like how um, like the cushion is one big long cushion. Yeah. Is it comfy? I also want to get two chairs and I have really fallen in love with these because they're quite traditional but modern at the same time. This is a nice coffee table, like something like this but dark I think. Dark? Yeah. yeah but I love that chair. Yeah, that's nice. Not as comfy. Oh, is it not? No. It's nice though, I like the, um, it's like nice and big, I think it would fit the space quite well. This is like the dining table that I bought, um, but the base is different. The base that I bought is also marble, and honestly, I regret buying it so much because shipping it from Sweden to the UK has been an absolute nightmare. I'm just going to H&M home. I'm gonna look at the Christmas decks. They're always very pretty in here. Oh, these ones are nice.
morning guys oh it's very bright okay maybe not here okay that's a lot better good morning guys i hope you're all good so i obviously took you guys interior shopping yesterday and that kind of inspired me for the rest of the video i thought it would just be really nice to uh, dedicate this to interiors and planning and just sharing with you guys all of my thoughts and ideas this morning i thought i'd just take you guys around the flat i know i've kind of done it like roughly when um we first moved in but i think it's a lot easier to show you guys and explain things now the furniture or at least our temporary furniture is here and yeah just walk you guys through basically i'm really excited i'm not gonna lie i've really underestimated how difficult planning and everything is and i guess it's because one it's expensive two it's permanent and three everything kind of has to it's like a jigsaw puzzle you have to work out timings when this thing fits with this thing and you've got to do this thing before this thing it's just quite difficult really so yeah it's taking up a lot of my time even though like nothing's actually happened but um i've got a contractor coming around this afternoon my friend recommended him i'm just looking forward to having some like expert advice as i've got some cool ideas which i'll show you guys now actually okay so this is our current living room um, as you can see, I have randomly placed furniture everywhere to kind of get a feel for the size. If I turn you guys around, this is the door at the moment. And basically, I know I mentioned to you guys before, but I want to have a um, kind of fireplace here. The TV going above the fireplace. And then, yeah, the sofa looking here. But the only thing is the fireplace is going to have to be a little bit off centre. Um, just because of the shape of the room. So I'm thinking to make it not off centre is extending this door here to about here and having like a double open French door style kind of thing. I think that could look really, really nice. Now, these two items here are to represent the armchairs we're having. The rug, um, I, I'm going to try to see if we can get this rug in a bigger size because I love this rug. It's from uh, Wayfair and I'm going to see if we can kind of extend it to about here like so. And... This is our current sofa from Snug, and I absolutely love it. Like, it's such a nice colour. But we got this in our last, last apartment because it was quite small, so it really fit into this little nook that we had. I don't know how well you can see, but yeah, basically it's too small for this room. Like, it kind of just gets a bit swallowed. So the sofa I want, as you can see, I've done these measurements here um, with tape. So I want the sofa to go from this wall here all the way to about here. I might even move it out a little bit more to like maybe here, so it's not pressed up against the wall. And that still gives you quite a nice kind of walking space through here. I am really struggling to choose a sofa. I know what I want. I want it to be flat to the ground, so no legs. That way it's just easier with like cleaning and stuff like that. And I want it to be the perfect mix of modern, but traditional. Um, I found one really nice one on Soho Home. It's kind of like 70s inspired. Um, it's at the absolute top end of my budget, but it's so nice. Um, and I think with it being the biggest piece of furniture in the room, it might be worth investing a bit more. I'll put up a picture on the screen. Let me know what you guys think. I also found this one on Olivia's that I quite like. But the only thing is as well, um, I don't really want to buy a sofa for all that money and not like test it and trial it. But... Um, but like a lot of these places don't have warehouses and um, ways you can actually sit on them. So if anyone has a Soho Home sofa, let me know. That would be really helpful. My only other concern with the Soho Home one is it's quite low. It's actually the same as this with no cushions. Um, and that is quite low. And as you can see, we have got the biggest TV. I think this is like 75 inch or something. And once it's on top of the fireplace, I'm worried that it's going to be quite like high up and if the sofa's low I don't want to be looking up do you know what I mean I'm going to put some pictures up on the screen so you guys can kind of see the vision a little bit more um this isn't going to be exactly how it's going to be but it gives you kind of gives you an idea and I wanted to chat to you guys about my interior designer quickly as well because um she's really been helping me she works a bit differently to I guess how normally how like your typical interior designers work so she is online only it's all remote work and she is so talented um i mentioned her before but i found her on tiktok actually and yeah i messaged her straight away so what she does is she gets the measurements she puts it all into like a cgi and she makes a shopping list um 
and just kind of helps with like general queries and um, all the questions I have. So if any of you lot are looking for an interior designer, yeah, I'll put all of her details down below because she's really been amazing. Yeah, so other than that, the only thing I'm changing are the sockets, the light switches, and I think I'm gonna have like one single panel all the way around the room and then cornicing. I think that's what it's called up at the top or architrave, maybe that's what it's called. And then in terms of the kitchen, I actually really like the kitchen and its layout and everything. The only thing I'm changing, which I mentioned before, I'm just getting it wrapped um, to more of a neutral color. And then here, this is where my dining table is gonna be. As you can see, I have mapped out a little circle. I ordered my dining table so long ago and it has only just been shipped. And the reason for that is Brexit. Oh my goodness, it is so hard to import something from another country. It's coming from Sweden and I felt like I was back in like GCSE maths trying to like crack a code or something, trying to fill out these import forms. Um, it's been such a nightmare. And honestly, I, it really has put me off ever, or, ever ordering anything from overseas ever again. But I think this dining table is gonna be worth it. I absolutely love it. And the chairs I'm gonna be switching out as well. I love these ones, they're so comfortable, but um, I've had them for three years now, and I don't know, I feel like my style has slightly changed. I have currently put my piano in the hallway, as I thought actually this would work really nicely, like almost as a console table, but I'm wrong. It kind of almost takes up almost half of the space. And honestly, there's nowhere else I can put it that looks bright. So I'm really, um, Sad, I mean, if we're gonna have to put it into storage, give it to my parents or sell it, which I really don't wanna do. And then I've got my big Ikea mirror at the end here. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this because I love this mirror, but I'll probably just mount it up on the wall rather having it um, lent. My outfit is H&M and Mango. I'll have this link down below. And then I've also finally come to a decision with my dressing room. Um, again, I'll put pictures up on the screen so you can see, but I'm gonna go for like a wood interior, um, so there's gonna be like hanging space all here. Here is gonna be like shelves and then a couple of um, drawers. And in my last video, I said to you guys, I wasn't sure about whether to have uh, shelving wrapping round here or not. And some of you guys came up with some really good suggestions, which I'm very grateful for. In the end, I'm just going for one straight row of shelves and then keeping a mirror here. Okay, and now into my bedroom. We're changing up a lot. So the bed, bedside tables and lamps are going into B's room because she wants them. Um, we're gonna reupholster and like kind of redo um, like the bed and the beside tables and everything just to make them feel a bit more new. And then I wanna switch out the bed because I just want something a little bit more statement. So a higher headboard um, just to go with like the high ceilings and then higher bedside lamps as well. I think that makes the most sense. The bedside tables I want currently don't exist. I think I might have to get them done um, bespoke, but I'm gonna keep on looking online and see if I can find anything. We have really deep drawers, so it's good for storage, but also something that comes straight to the ground, so there's no, um, also without any legs, basically. Oh, look, they both flopped now. Oh my God, they actually break my heart. And then, yeah, panelling either side and above the bed. I'll put up some pictures for reference, of course, and then some kind of like ottoman at the end of the bed as well. Um, I've always wanted to have one of those because they have them in hotels and I don't know, I just think it's a nice little seating area. And then this will also be going, I'm not sure what I'm gonna replace it with, possibly the piano, but I don't know, I feel a bit weird about having a piano in my bedroom. Um, so if I don't put that there, then I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think. It's just like the little walkway that goes into my bedroom. Here's, I have two little muffins on the floor. Hello guys, hey. Oh, pickle, so sweet. He's got such a squishable face. <laughs> Is that nice? So I know I kind of spoke to you guys about plans in this room, um, but I'm gonna put up a picture so you can have a good idea. In the photo, this is arched, which I'm not gonna do because it doesn't fit into my budget. Um, I'm just gonna leave it like nice and square and classic. Um, I also love archways, but I also do think they are a little bit of a trend right now and they tend to come in and out, so I'd rather be classic. Now this is currently the bunny's room slash my makeup room. Oh, Pip's just flopped. Why is she so precious? Look at that little baby, so cute. Um, yeah, so this is the bunny's area. We have a little litter tray and their hay feeder. And then of this bit here, because it's a really weird space, I'm gonna have a custom made desk to go from here to about here maybe. And then I'm gonna have like drawers and stuff, all of my makeup. I might even invest in a desktop um, computer just so I can do my editing and stuff. And then yeah, probably have like a nice little lamp here. I'm gonna switch off, I'm gonna switch out that wall light there for something a bit more pretty.
good morning guys i thought i got away with not getting ill this christmas i get ill i feel like everyone gets ill every christmas it's just like that time and yeah i am not feeling great today it's a sunday so it's upload day as you can probably tell by the way i look i didn't sleep much last night everything hurts my throat hurts i just i feel really terrible but i really wanted to vlog today so i'm going to vlog anyway but it's just going to be like a really cozy at home kind of day i've just made myself some soup on the sofa i also realized you haven't properly caught up since lapland oh and quickly as well before i say anything else i've got the most amazing giveaway on my on my instagram so i went to lapland with aurora resort they kindly invited me so it was a press trip and when i was there i asked if i could have a discount code for you guys and they were like well how about we do one better and how about teaming up together and doing a giveaway for like a free experience and instantly i was like a hundred percent yes this is the most amazing idea so um yeah we're giving away a free trip to lapland and all of the details are on my instagram story and in my lapland highlights I make sure you go check that out but it was honestly the most incredible holiday um i knew that lapland was obviously really beautiful and just very Christmassy, but it completely exceeded like all my expectations. One thing I was actually really shocked about was how incredible the food was. Out of all the traveling I've done this year, Lapland has had the best food. It was just such an unexpected little delight. And I was also really nicely surprised at how many things there is to do. Like we even went skiing there. I didn't know you could do skiing in Lapland. So I could not recommend Lapland as a holiday enough. Even if it's like with your best friend, with your family, with a massive group of friends, I just think it kind of has something for everybody. I obviously went with my boyfriend. I've never said those words on YouTube before. I've never said my boyfriend online before. This is so weird. But yeah, he's my boyfriend. I have a boyfriend, guys. How crazy is that? And we just had such a wonderful time. So yeah, I'm just so happy I'm able to give one of you guys the same experience. Also, I've got to catch you guys up on... Oh, my phone is going crazy. I just announced the giveaway again on my Instagram and it's, it's really blowing up. It's actually good that I've fallen ill now because I've kind of done all of my like Christmassy things and like events and stuff. Um, we had a girls night on Friday, which was so nice. We had all the girls around here for the first time. We had wine and then we went to Bardo, which is in um, Piccadilly. Um, it's actually like such a fun vibe there. It's really good food. The staff were amazing. And then afterwards, there's like a kind of, it says members club, but I don't think it is a members club because we all just went in there. Um, it's like a kind of little like bar area and it's so much fun. So yeah, that was really nice. Anyway, guys, I'm actually struggling now. So I'm gonna curl up and watch something. <laughs> on the tv um i've been watching harry and megan on um netflix and i'm really enjoying it you know guys i don't have like the biggest fascination or really like interest in the royal family i guess and yeah the documentary is actually quite shocking like i think whether or not you like megan it doesn't really matter you can see in the documentary how in love they are and i just think that was so it's just so beautiful to watch it was like quite emotional at times because you could just tell how amazing their relationship is but i just find it wild like the amount of like hate and negativity and just awful press they get all the time because yeah megan might not be for everybody but like at the end of the day she hasn't actually done anything majorly wrong but yeah i've been enjoying that so i'm going to probably continue watching that and um catch you guys in a bit it's all a bit much for opal today look at that sleepy little moomin so cute I have barely vlogged today because I haven't done anything. Um, I've just been editing in bed, just feeling a bit sorry for myself. But editing this vlog back, I really like it. I don't know why, there's just something kind of like cozy and wholesome about it. So yeah, I'm gonna end it here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna try put out one more video before Christmas. But I feel like most of my work is actually wrapped up now. Um, normally I finish a few days before Christmas, but I feel like everyone's took like a week off before Christmas this year, which is so nice. Let me know if you guys have finished for work yet or if you're kind of working up until um the end. But yeah, I love you all so, so, so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.